Emma from Howes here. In today's video, we will be going through how to create a 3D floor plan within minutes and send it off to your client for them to view. To access a 3D floor plan tool, select Designs and from the drop down, select Floor Plans. This is going to give you a library of floor plans of everyone that you've created so far within your account. You can go ahead, hover over existing floor plans, click the three dots and duplicate or delete. Let's go ahead and create one together. Click on add a floor plan and that's going to open up a blank canvas in a new tab. Before we get started on how to create your floor plan, let's have a look at all the capabilities we have. First things first, in the top left hand corner you can title your floor plan. Below that we've got our toolbar which is our select tool. So we can select each walls or floors. We've got a draw walls pen which allows us to draw in new walls in our room. For example, if you wanted to add an extension or just draw in new walls anywhere on your floor plan, you've got the ability to do so here. Once you've done that, you've also got the option of changing between meters or feet. Ensuring that your floor plan is zoomed to the center of your screen or zooming in and out. If you're using a mouse, you can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out of your floor plan. Once you've got your walls down, you can also click on any wall and drag it to extend, or if needed, click on any wall and hold down shift and that'll highlight multiple walls at once. That way you can change that whole selection. You can also click on your floors and add in floor renderings. You can hold down shift, select multiple floors at once and add the same rendering in. We've got options like wood, tiles and carpet. Once you've added a floor rendering in, you'll see stripes coming across. We've also got our structures. So this is going to allow you to change your ceiling height. It'll allow you to start popping in your doors, windows or staircases. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my doors. Simply choose the style that you're after. Once you've clicked it, it'll load into the middle of your floor plan and you can start dragging it along the floor plan of where you want this door to go. Once you've got your door clicked, you've got the option of duplicating, flipping or rotating which way it opens. You've also got the option when you've clicked on a product to change the dimensions or the certain products actually add in a rendering. You've also got the option to add a doorknob finish as well. Once you've customised all that, hop into Dollhouse View at the top in the middle of your page to have a look at how that comes together. And that way you can see the rendering you popped in and the way it fits into your space. You can always go back into floor plan, click on that product and duplicate it to copy that rendering and customise dimensions. Once you've done that, go ahead and do the same process for your windows. So again, simply hover over the one that you're after, click into it, it'll add into the middle of your floor plan and you can move it to where you want it to go. Again, I always recommend just stopping, hopping into Dollhouse and having a look at how it all comes together. With your windows as well as the width and height, you can actually change the distance from the floor. Perfect. I'm going to hop back into floor plan. I'm going to start adding in some products. So we've got a product library within house, which is all of your white placeholders. So these are going to give you a couple of options, which again, you just click on the product. It'll add into the middle of the room and you can go ahead and change the dimensions. You've also got the option to click on source and have a look at the house library of rendered products. So you can come in here and you can filter per category. And that's going to give you all of these rendered options as well. Exact same process, click on the product, move it around, and if needed, change the dimensions as well. Again, you can always go ahead, stop, and look into your dollhouse to see how it all comes together. You've also got the option of when you're in dollhouse, to click on the walls and add in custom meters, wall thickness, or selecting a paint color. 
you click on multiple walls at once and hold down shift, you can add paint colours to all of those walls at once. You can even hop into a walkthrough which allows you to actually walk inside your room and move around. What I'm going to do is show you an example of a floor plan that I've created with two different spaces. So here we've got a room of a mix of white placeholders and rendered products. And I'm going to go ahead and hop into Dollhouse. And then I'm going to go ahead and walk into Walkthrough as well. To share this with your client, click on Share in the top right hand corner and that's going to give you the option to copy a link and when your client opens that up, that you've sent to them maybe through House Pro, an email, social media, however you'd like, they've got the option to look at the floor plan, dollhouse, and the walkthrough. However, it won't actually allow them to make any edits. They'll be able to click around and move, but you'll notice they can't actually click on a product, remove it, change it around. They're just looking at what you've created for them. Within your floor plan, you've also got the op option of clicking on actions in the top right hand corner, creating a new floor plan, duplicating the floor plan you've clicked into, delete or export by printing and exporting as a PDF. So now you know how to create a 3D floor plan within minutes, so go ahead, create it and share this with your client and get started today. Thanks for watching.